Welcome back to GMA, live from Times Square. And it is great to have you all with us on this Friday Eve. Friday Eve, thankful Thursday. You know, we've been talking a lot about graduates, but also it's Teacher Appreciation Week. And so all the graduates that we've been talking about, you got to think of those teachers that put them in this position yeah. to get that diploma. We thank all of them. And it is time for the series finale. Of GMA's class of 2017. This celebration this morning, I'm thrilled to share a story about one woman who did not let her age stop her from pursuing her dream to get her bachelor's degree. Take a look at her story. Hi, my name is Elaine Jones Scott. I am a class of 2017 graduate from Chicago State University, and this is my story. <laughs> It's game night at Grandma's house. Grandma! <laughs> Blocks, babies, taco night, yeah! and a tasty taco spread. But Elaine Jones Scott isn't your typical 62-year-old grandma. She's also a graduating senior at Chicago State University, earning her bachelor's degree in psychology and counseling. What do they mean by um, the psychotropic drugs? I always wanted my degree because I felt that having my degree meant that I could make my way in this world. At 18 years old, Elaine was young, rebellious, and eager to leave her parents' home. So she dropped out of high school to marry her first love, Larry Scott, and start a family. Once I got married, then, of course, I had a husband that was pretty much taking care of myself and my family, so I didn't need to work. The marriage ended after 18 years, and Elaine was on her own with four children to support. I had no education. I was unable to be employed because the jobs that I wanted, you needed an education for. But she had to focus on providing for her children, so she took a job to make ends meet, putting her education goals on hold, but never losing sight of her dream. It was 15 years later that I left the company that I was with and decided that I wanted to go back to school. A lot of times people that are my age, 60 and 70 years old, are getting ready for retirement. Not so for me. Hey, sugar, how are you? After four years on campus, oh, Elaine has become a surrogate grandmother to many. At 62 years old, I am still viable. I realize that there is so much more that I can give. Today, Elaine is a certified deaconess at her church, and her work there pushed her to want to become a professional counselor. Ultimately, I want to use my counseling skills to help young people. I hope to inspire people that their dreams can still be realized. Wow. Elaine Jones Scott is joining us now from Chicago. Give her a big welcome here to Good Morning America, this grandma. Yeah, that's right. You can do the dance. Yes. You're just just hours yes. away. In yes. a few hours, yes. you're going to be walking across that stage. Yes. It's your first ever commencement. Just tell us about the emotions you're feeling right now. Uh, good morning, Robin. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is so wonderful just to be able to speak to you. Um, but the emotions are just overwhelming right now. Um, I am just excited and just elated to be standing here before you. Uh, I am overcome with emotions. I'm trying to um, just not have my makeup running down my face. But I know <laughs> it's, it's just the, the power of one. Uh, and, I'm, I, and I know that you know about the power of one. Amen. Just keeping your hands in God's unchanging mm -hmm. hand and just going forward with the plan that he had for me. You know, and so I am just overcome at this moment, just being on GMA and speaking with you and just having him to put me in a spotlight like this to allow people to know that their dreams can still be realized. I, you know, I often say this, God's delays are not his denials. God's delays are not his denials, and you are not going to be denied of your goal of walking across that stage. We saw how your grandchildren absolutely adore you. What is the message you think yes. you send to them by graduating today? 
you know, I want them to realize that no matter what life throws at you, no matter how many scars you might have to encounter, I want them to realize that if you just go forth and just, just don't be a quitter, to realize that no matter, you can always reinvent yourself, that you are always changing and, and, and come, becoming that chameleon that God uh. wants you to be. And that that plan is always in effect and that no matter what, just don't quit and just hold on to his hand. Just remember the power of one and just to just be led by that power. Well, thank you the for power sharing, of God. sharing that message. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. You, thank have a, you, you have so a good much. time. And congratulate all the graduates for us there at Chicago State University. Yes, I will. All right. You take care. Yes, yes. Inspiring to see her tackling her new challenges, achieving her dreams at 62 years old. This is graduation season, guys. You know, we often talk about this. And we're just thinking about, is there anybody here in the audience that's graduating from high school or college? Anybody in the audience? Can you stand up? Can you? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Wait. Everybody here. Everybody here is graduating. Did you know that? Everybody here is about to be a graduate. Uh, now look underneath your chairs. There's a little something under there. Everybody look under your chairs because we got to get the party started. We've got your caps, your caps and gowns. All right. So put those on. We're going to share some uh, words of wisdom for, for you when we come back. But we got Kiana, Kiana Parks, the DJ. The GMA graduation party is just getting started.